was Al Masih, a man of peace, and Muhammad, a man of war, alayhim as salatu was salam. We need to know something extremely important. <clears throat> there are two points to this question. Point number one is the condition, the political condition that Al Masih salam lived in and the political condition that Muhammad وسلم, lived in. The second one is the role of Al-Masih that was sent to his people, to Bani Israel, and the role of Muhammad وسلم, that was sent to Nas Kaffa, to all humanity. First thing we need to know in terms of the condition, the political condition of the region, where Al-Masih was sent, he was sent in historical Palestine. That was under the rulership of Rome. And there was some sort of a self-authority for the Jews, Bani Israel, in that area. But it was under the direct rulership of Rome. And in that period, which falls in between 82 BC and 180 AD, that era was known as the Pax Romano, or Pax Romana. Pax Romana, Pax is peace, Romana is Romans. It was a time of peace and prosperity. There were no wars. The Jews, in historical Palestine were given the freedom to worship. <clears throat> they had the freedom to manage their own affairs. So the era was an era of peace. Bani Israel had some sort of a self-authority but they were not a functioning state. Very important. So the Messiah's message was da'wah, religion only. He was a man of religion to bring new the Sharia for Bani Israel. He had no involvement in statehood. He had no tasks to manage economy, politics. It was not part of his tasks. So he was strictly a man of religion. However, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent in Arabia, an area that was full of hostility, wars, fights, mainly between the two large powers back then, Al Fursu wa Rum the Persians and the Romans. The Persians and the Romans fought for over 700 years over territories. What territories? Arabic territories. Sham, Al Jazeera, Al Iraq. These territories historically are for Arab. They were continuously under attack from Al Fursu wa Rum. So two superpowers fighting for power, expanding their territories continuously and then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi sent in Arabia, trying to do what? To unite initially the, the Arab before it became global. Trying to unite the Arab. And the Arab had no clear authority or mulk. The Arab were Qabail, tribes. So here's Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi calling for what? Unity. Unity is a source of power. Power is a source of threat to the superpowers. Make sense? So he is rearranging Arabia to become strong as, a, as an initial step for Islam. That posed a threat. 